happy Saturday morning everybody it's Saturday October 15th and we had a cold front blow through last night and it's downright kind of chilly this morning and I'm downright pretty excited it's 42 degrees right now it's supposed to get to like 41 it's only supposed to be 63 for a high today we have like a 30.4, 30.5 pressure. It's high, not a cloud in the sky. All I see is stars. It should be a good morning for deer movement. And we are headed to a good old rut ridge. I got permission to this spot last year and I actually never hunted it. I tagged out on October 1st early and so I didn't have a buck tag. So I didn't bother hunting the place. Well, this place was littered with bucks last late October and November, and pretty good ones too. Fast forward to shed season, I found a match set off a really nice nine pointer. And then I found a nice set off of a really nice 10 pointer. Well, they're both back on camera, and the nine pointer blue, he's about a 150 inch nine pointer, about 15, 16 inches wide, but super tall. The 10 pointer is just a real nice 140, 145 inch 10. And we are gonna go hunt them this morning. Got a perfect northwest wind. Gonna sneak up the end of this ridge, slide into the stand, see if we can't get it done. The nine was on camera two nights ago, and the 10 was on camera three nights ago. I know they live on this ridge, I know they live in this area. Just gotta be there to kill them. This is my first sit on Rut Ridge, and I'm ready for it, and I'm excited. Stay tuned, everybody. We're pulling into the place right now. We'll see you all at daybreak.
around here somewhere. Man, this morning feels good. And the deer sure are moving. I've had them every single direction all around me. It's about 8.15. I just stuck a big one. Holy cow. I just stuck the big one. I've looked up in front. 
house and chasing a doe. Next thing I know, about five minutes later, I heard a grunt. And right over here to my right, there was two does. And he was right on their butt. They went down the hill. He turned. And he was at 15 yards. I was shaking so bad. Watch the footage. He's definitely a big deer. As he was walking, I'm still filming. He was like 15 yards. I moved the camera in front of him, thinking he would stop there, but he stopped right before it. You can see his head and neck, but you can't see where the arrow hit him. But he took off like a bat at a Well, how about that? I got down, I went right to where he was standing when I shot him. There's no blood right there. I kind of didn't think there would be. The arrow stuck in him. I got a nocturnal lighted knock on my arrow and I could, the arrow hit him and he took off crashing and I could see the knock in him as he was running. I seen him go about 40, 45, 50 yards and then I couldn't see no more. It's just kind of thick on that ridge, so. I shot him about 9.30. It's about 10.45 now. Trying to see if I can get a buddy or something to come maybe help track, maybe help drag. But if not, we're gonna head, head back in and hopefully pick up the trail. Awesome morning, deer everywhere, big buck. Now, Let's just hope the trail leads to a big old 10 point rack. Stay tuned. Hopefully we can show you a good outcome of this. Well, we are back at the tree stand. And we are going to take up the trail. I've watched the video over and over and over again. I just hope I got an exit so he bleeds. I stuck him hard. He was only... 12 yards, 15 yards. It sounded good. We're getting ready to go look for him. Wish us luck. We're gonna bring you along for the ride. Well, I have an update. I found my arrow. And I got about 8 to 10 inches of penetration. Not ideal, by any means. I kept kind of walking the way he went and I finally found blood on the ground so I got the blood marked gonna leave my arrow right here picking up my bow and we're gonna just slowly try to follow the blood trail fingers are still crossed hopefully this all works out well ladies and gentlemen let me give you all a quick update so last time we talked I was looking for blood, found the arrow, and it really wasn't looking too good. Started following the blood, hands and knees following the blood, went three quarters of a mile, lost blood. Looked for 45 minutes, couldn't find blood anymore at all. Look what I just found. Well, oh, we got it done this morning on a Missouri stud. 
This was my first sit on this permission farm. It borders to a big piece of conservation ground. Last year there were bucks all up and down this ridge, but I tagged out on October 1st so I could never hunt it. Fast forward to this year, I have a tag and I was hunting it. A cold front blew through last night. I knew there were two good bucks on this ridge. There was, there was a nine pointer and then a 10 pointer. And this morning at about nine o'clock, he came in grunting, chasing a few does. And I let the rage eat. He didn't bleed very well, I'll tell you that, but ran about 300 yards, piled up in the creek, and we are tagged out in Missouri, son. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, We got him in the truck. My good friend Eddie came over, helped me drag him out, got him gutted, drug him down the creek about 150 yards and then straight up the creek bank and into the bed of the truck. You cannot beat an October 16th morning like we had today. I appreciate you all watching this. Stay tuned for more. I plan on starting to whack and stack some does with the crossbow and video some of my buddies, hopefully put them on some good bucks. Stay tuned to the channel. We got some more good stuff coming.